Hi folks, let me introduce the report portal for you. It is the solution accelerator which was built initially inside the EPUM and currently open source for the whole market of the test automation. Uh, we found our success inside EPUM at production server and uh, currently trying to build a community around the product in open source. Well, the Initial idea was to like to find the and fill the gap for the projects where can where test automation can fail, and we make the audit to understand why the test automation actually fails. And among all the reasons uh, which we found, they are all was mostly about the visibility into the state of the test automation. So based on this experience and the audits, we put the next ideas behind uh, the report portal. First of all, it's to give you the life visibility into the state of the test automation health at your project and uh, give it in real time. Uh, also to reduce the effort to analyze the results by the team and maintain the test automation. Also to support most popular automation tools at the market with pre-configured and implemented adapters. To give you the metrics and dashboards out of the box to give you the visibility and uh, the Pretty important thing here that it can, the report portal can be used with any existing solution in test automation. So like no, there is no need to implement um, or refactor the code and you can start with the report portal at any day and any stage of your project. And the thing we are working in this year uh, is the artificial intelligence uh, and we started with machine learning and I will describe it a little bit later. So. Once again, pretty important thing that uh, Report Portal have been open sourced already uh, for the more than a half year and currently we have a growing community and more and more instances are deployed um, in open source uh, each day. So the showcase, let's see how the Report Portal looks like. So here the login page, I will jump in it and here we will see uh, the project space with, with all the data uh, which um, with which you can achieve full automation visibility in real time by centralizing the data and aggregating the logs and reports and screenshots in one place so here and the at the screen um, at the log level you can see all the related binary data, attachments, screenshots, and whatever you have for your test automation. And uh, also, just in one click, you can post, upload the bug right to your bug tracking system to it. And this gives you the traceability with defect management. Also, just in one click here, you can access the previous states of your execution. And this helps you to understand what was happening with this test case on previous uh, runs and uh, uh, it also helps you to make automation uh, results actionable and collaborative and with the defect editor you can put the uh, certain reason of a fail for particular uh, um, failed issue for example it's a bug on UI just click submit it and all the team in real time will see these statistics and see this link which you, which you have updated so use um, you also can accelerate your result analysis with um, hands-free analysis based on the historical pat patterns of fails so like uh, since we have all this data inside our database we can collect the reason of fails and uh, identify the patterns of fails and predict uh, and analyze new fails uh, based on it so like that means with the new latest uh, inside the latest execution report portal will review the fails and put the uh, actual reason of it so like define is it a product bug automation bug system issue and whatever you have for example you can create the custom defect types having all these statistics in one place and with all this categorization we can build the uh, dashboards these dashboards, dashboards will help you to get the visibility and track the metrics you have at the project for example you can see the grow of your test cases you can see the distribution among different reasons of fail you can see how your team analyzes the result how many test cases implemented each run and so on and so forth and also for example like you can find the most failed items inside your execution so 
basically that is it on UI. Let's back, get back to the presentation itself. So the report portal is available via the Docker Compose file, and as I said, on the GitHub we have uh, available instructions. So just in a couple of uh, commands you can execute and uh, deploy your own instance or use uh, in-house IPAM server. Also, there is available real-time integration, and the pretty important thing here is that it can be completed just in a few hours, and no ref any refactoring required for your test cases. Now, we have the list of the implemented and already tested in production um, adapters, which just should be added inside your test automation code, and uh, you will see all results inside the report portal. No refactoring required, just a few hours to uh, integrate. That means basically that it costs almost nothing to you for you to try with, uh, to give a try to report portal. And the smart analysis. As I said, the, the functionality that really differentiate us from another solutions and the, the, uh, that really helps and reduce the time to analyze the results a lot. Uh, this is the place where we building the IE in testing and the first step is like the machine learning. Because of the uh, a lot of data inside our database uh, with the completed um, resolutions made by the humans in it, we can learn our system to find the issue roots. So like based on these uh, huge swaps of data, we can uh, ask report portal to analyze uh, the latest fails. So basically that means with, uh, uh, that with every next execution and analysis which will be made inside by your team uh, at your project, the report portal will have more data and more uh, smart model to analyze latest execution. And that basically means with, uh, when the latest execution will be uh, completed, the report portal will review all the fails and mark them uh, with a particular reason. Is it a product bug, is it automation issue or any other defect type. Um, just to summarize uh, what you can, how you can benefit with the report portal, first of all it will give you the life visibility and the process improvement at your project. So basically the process around the automation will be visible for all the project. And the report portal can give you the um, uh, API which can be used as a part of your pipeline uh, in order to build the robust and stable uh, CI CD at your project. It also improves your collaboration and uh, especially it's, um, can, it, can, it can be found with a separated team uh, in different locations. For example, India, Canada, US and uh, Minsk, Belarus uh, with one uh, centralized storage for all the res results, for all the executions. Team will, uh, walk, will work collaboratively in one space. Uh, it also reduced the team uh, effort to analyze and work with the test automation and also to maintain it. Uh, it also gives you the view of the visualization and custom dashboards uh, and help you to uh, track your test automation. And uh, once again, it gives you the metrics. So like with the, those visualizations and dashboards, you can keep eye on your KPIs and uh, follow the metrics at your project. Um, as I said, the report portal is open sourced already and initially implemented by the EPUM and currently we have a growing community which is available on the Facebook and we also have the YouTube channel with the all materials, the Slack chat, the Twitter and the GitHub with the centralized issue and uh, the place to um, post and ask the questions. So the main link you need here is the reportportal.io and the GitHub with the organization named the report portal. So please join, uh, take a look and um, let me know if you are interested in the report portal. Thank you.